Hello everybody. So I have my UBTech UKIT Intermediate and I have plugged everything in. One of the nice things about uh, UBTech is that the main controller board, first of all, doesn't care what port you've plugged things into in the software. You're just going to say it, it's going to find it. You don't have to tell it which port. Like I have the servo plugged into port three. Don't have to do that. The other thing, other thing is you can daisy chain everything. So that's a nice feature. So let's get what I've got. So again, we've got our main control box. I've got the touch switch and then the infrared sensor. They're daisy chained to each other and they're plugged into one port over there. Doesn't matter what. Um, I've got this propped up a little bit because sometimes when you, if you put it flat, it um, bounces off your surface and you get, get detection. Um, then I've got a servo here and I've attached a bar to it. I'm going to run this servo as a position servo. So it's going to go, you know, just to a certain angle. Then I've got a light, then another position servo with a different thing hooked up to it so you can see how things um, look differently and how you can rotate some things in a different manner. Another light, then the speaker, and then another servo. And this one I am going to run continuous. And the fourth servo I will also run continuous as a basic wheel. So here we go. So here's what I've got. So I'm using the the U the UB Tech app, and when run is tapped, so that's when we start it up. Um, I like initializing things when I start a program. I want to know where everything is. Um, so my LEDs I turned off. I could turn them to a certain color, like an on color. That would have worked too. Uh, but I just have them turned off. And then my position servos, I'm going to set them to be at zero degrees. And it's going to take uh, 400 milliseconds for each of those to do that. And then I'm going to use my inputs. If when the touch sensor is clicked, then take the, uh, the position servos, turn one to positive 60 degrees, turn the other to negative 60 degrees. Blink the lights, blink one light, red. The other light make it go um, custom. And the custom, uh, I think it happens to you, rainbow. And then the other two servos, turn one clockwise at 60% speed and the other at 60% speed. And that's easy to change. I mean, just you cl just click in there, pops up numbers. Let's make that one go faster. There we go. That's all you got to do. Um, and then let's go with the other, the other thing. If the IR sensor catches something within 10 centimeters, um, the position servo should go to negative 100 and 100. The LED should blink a different color, set up a different color, and we should play a couple of notes and then wait some time. And restart is after each block set of chunk of code because if you don't do that if you don't get a restart in there um at least on at least on the first one i haven't tried only having it on that one i put it on all of them um the code ends so let's see what happens here let's see what happens so we're gonna, we're gonna hit play and it seems like nothing happened because it was at a set Nothing, because they were initialized already. Um, so I'm gonna touch a button. And you see things happen. Notice that these went to, these went to an angle and then went back because it once it went through this block and then went back up here. And up there is the initializing. So coding is all about logic. What do you want to happen and when do you want it to happen? So if you didn't want them to go back, we would have to put that initial um, setting in a different 
way in our code. And then we got one more thing to happen with our code. We got to do the this, the, this thing. You see how that works? Let's do it again. And then we'll touch that again. And my servos are still rotating because nowhere in my code do I tell it to stop. Um, let's go back to here. Those stay in position longer because I have a wait time on there. So I'm just trying to, you know, give you a little example of all three ways, you know, all the ways that the, uh, some of the ways, not all the ways, that things can happen. Thanks for playing.